fascial rolling before you work out? For sure, the science actually says so. When you use the therapy balls before you work out, it excites the sensory system. And once the sensory system is excited, your motor control improves. In fact, your torque output improves. That means your muscles do more contraction. That means you're using more of your tissues optimally. Also, it improves the range of motion. When you improve your range of motion, you also get to include more of your tissues correctly in any given movement, especially a functional movement, like a squat. Let's try a squat, and then we'll do a little rollout to show you a before and after. So for the squat, you can have your feet a little wider than hip socket width apart, skull directly over sacrum, deep tubular bracing of the core, push the ground apart, and then sit as low as you possibly can without bending the spine, and then come up to stand. Then this whole sequence can be done either on a bench or a stool, or you can do this on the floor. We're gonna target three different fascial hotspots. One is directly above the greater trochanter, and it's where the gluteus medius and minimus like to live in this little cove of connective tissue. So I'll lean to the side and let the ball dock its way in there. Contract, relax. You can activate the glutes and relax. You can do that either by trying to squeeze everything right where the ball is, or you can try to move the knee away from you, trying to drive it down to the ground and release or you can just spend some time in that little oyster bed of those soft tissues and just creating a little gumminess in that area. Two minutes there. Second position is the sacrotuberous ligament. So to find that, you go between your ischial tuberosity and your coccyx. There's a little cave here where the thickening of that famous ligament lies. And so I'm just sticking the Therapy Ball Plus right underneath that. And lots of different things you can do here. One is just sit and breathe and allow the pressure to insert itself. Two is making little micro moves with your femur, rotating in and out, straightening the knee, a little bit of rotation, adduction, or rather abduction, adduction. Third position is the high inner thigh. So for the high inner thigh, you want to find the highest point in your femur on the very inside of it. It's called the lesser trochanter. So we were out here at the greater trochanter, now we're here at the lesser trochanter. I love doing this one on a chair. I love doing it on a floor with a yoga block as well. And what you're looking for is the insertion of the psoas major. And that psoas inserts itself through its fascia into the actual bone. So the fascia of the psoas is unique in that it's not just um, talking to the peri periosteum, talking to the skin of the bone, it actually goes within the periosteum and touches the bone itself. So here, the active contraction and relaxation will help the ball to plunk its way through all those tough adductor muscles that are on top. That's really your biggest obstacle. As wonderful as it is to get to the psoas, you have a lot of other myofascial tissues in the way, and so that contract relax is key. So you have those three points, two minutes each at least, and then you do the second side, obviously, and then your recheck. Skull, rib cage, pelvis, activate your core, and then squat down. Your depth of squat will have increased, your power will increase. That's how you treat before you train for optimum fascial function.